Hello guys, welcome to Computer Lab Space. Here I am with another video to explain mobile application development program number 6 from part A. First we will understand uh, the requirement of the program. Okay. What they have given is create two files of XML and JSON type with values for city underscore name, latitude, longitude, temperature and humidity. Develop an application to create an activity with two buttons to parse the XML and JSON files which when clicked should display the data in their respective layout side by side. Okay, they have given the uh, how it looks in the UI. This is the uh, screen 1 or UI 1 and this is the UI 2. Screen 1 and screen 2. Okay. In screen 1, we will have three components. One is the title parsing XML and JSON data and another two is the buttons. Okay, we will have button 1 and button 2. Button 1 will have the name parse XML data, button 2 will have the parse JSON data. When we click either one of these buttons, it should redirect to another screen. This is the another screen, screen 2. Here also we will have the header parsing XML and JSON data and we will have the subheader XML data and JSON data. Under XML data we will parse the XML file what we have created and display the respective data. Under JSON data we will parse the JSON file and display the same data under JSON. Okay. So basically guys, uh, these XML and JSON are uh, different types of files to store the data. That's it. We will talk about these things later. First we will understand the requirement. Hope you are understanding the requirement. So if you have any doubts in the requirements, please put your comments in the uh, comment section. Okay. Till now we talked about the uh, requirement of the program 6. Okay. Now we will see what is XML and what is JSON. How to uh, store the data in XML and JSON. Okay. Now XML, right. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. Extensible Markup language okay so why do we need xml it is to store data and transfer okay this is just a format and it is self descriptive this we will see when we are defining the uh, data in the xml format we will come we will take an example so i'll i'll take one example of email okay now i'll define an email uh, how to store email data i am storing an email data okay so in xml we will deal with uh, tags okay we will define the tags and inside the tag we will define the values define the tags to store the data now I have one email tag under this email tag so generally when we are sending an email we need to from header and body body that is the general information what we are used to send an email okay now I will have two. Okay, this is one tag, and uh, I'll have from. Then I need header. Then I need body. 
okay now i'll store the data for two as abc from df header is text header and body this is um, this is a body okay so this complete uh, xml format talks about one data okay this is one email data so when we are transferring a data from uh, source to destination we can use xml to transfer the data so now i am sending an email from person a or uh, from def to abc then i will send the data in this format and while receiving we will receive in the xml format and we have to parse that xml or read that xml and uh, display the data in the ui okay this is xml so this xml does not do anything it's just an information wrapped by tags so abc is an information wrapped by tag name to def is information wrapped by tag name from that's it so to transfer this data someone must write a piece of software to send this or store this or read this or display this data in the ui that's it as simple as that so this is all about xml now we will see how to uh, represent the uh, data in json format json is javascript object notation okay so it will be uh, represent in a text format it is a text format so why do we need json for what purpose we use json is same store and transfer the data okay and it is lightweight so these these are all the general uh, formats or general uh, uh, data representation formats where we can use these formats in any languages these are all not dependent on individual languages so that means independent of languages we can use these jsons in any language i can construct json in java and i can read this json in dotnet or i can read it in php so these are all independent of languages and it is also self descriptive so uh, we were uh, seeing the xml right so i have mentioned self descriptive so abc is a data what is this data data it is a two so when we see this it is a self descriptive uh, def what is this def it is a from address so i i'll put it like this at gmail.com df at gmail.com and test header what is this this is an header that's it got it right okay so now we will come to json so here also i was telling this is a self descriptive so we will see and uh, how do we define an object in json how do we define object in json right we will see so generally when we are defining an object in json uh, it starts with flower bracket and ends with flower bracket okay 
in the middle collection of name value space okay i'll alter we will define the actual object and then each name followed by colon each pair is separated by comma now i'll define one simple object so starts with flower bracket ends with flower bracket in the middle we can have collection of name value space so it should be inside the double quotes so that also i will mention here each name value space uh, enclosed by double quotes this is a name followed by colon and value this is one collection or oh, sorry uh, one name value pair so if i want to create another name value pair separated by comma name one colon value one so this complete set of name value pair we call it as an object this is an object to verify whether this object is proper or not we can verify through online okay so now i'll open uh, json formatter i'll open json viewer okay i'll put this json here format it and go to viewer so i can see the proper format we should not get any error so that means our uh, json object is proper okay so now in here we will represent an uh, same xml data in json okay starts with flower bracket ends with flower bracket now I'm, I have an email object. I should have an email object, right? Double quotes, email. Okay. And this is a name followed by colon. And now I should have the, these data inside email. Here I'll have one more object. Here I will define the name value pair. Don't get confused. Okay. So we will put this into our JSON viewer and we will see whether that is correct or not. I will have from to header body from abc at gmail.com to i'll define dvf at gmail.com test header test body now i'll take this and put it in the json viewer and format go to viewer so see here this is an email and email contains from to header body that's it so hope you guys are getting right so it's simple guys so this xml or json is just to represent the data store the data and transfer the data 
that's it that's why we need these formats this these are all just to uh, different kinds of formats to uh, represent data and transfer over the internet that's it